so seems like i have never did a q and a on this channel so welcome to the q and a episode 1 and this is going to be the first time i'm going to be answering your comments like from here so let's talk about these like i'll just scroll through and i'll talk about each comment whatever i find needed to be answered so let's go the first one is how about working of google pay and other banking apps seems like this is on a redmi note 5 pro's video like the last one i uploaded this is the evolution x video version 4.0 yes a lot of you guys have complained that this rom has bugs well i haven't tested it thoroughly i just showed you the flashing procedure and stuff if you have noticed the title the, the title says how to flash so i think that is pretty explanatory about that rom and i would say maybe you may find some bugs but give it some time to get fixed and something just wait for some updates it will be fixed if there are bugs the developers are really working hard and they don't like they almost work for free so you cannot force them to like make roms without any one bug so there always will be bugs even miui has bugs so don't complain about bugs i would say there is no rom which is like 100% perfect even miui has bugs and like lot of roms which are official stable roms called by the brands they also have bugs so just wait for a few days or something and with updates the bugs will be fixed i guess now let's talk about this question how about working google pay and other banking apps well i would say if your banking apps is kind of a uh, like irctc or something if you are using well those may not work may or may not work i'm not sure i don't use those but if you're talking just about google pay i would say yes google pay is like working in most like evolution x roms in like all the devices the redmi note 5 pro note 7 pro and even the redmi k20 pro i would say if you want like google pay to be working i would say yes you can get it to work with the evolution x rom but in case if it doesn't work with some builds or updates you can flash the magisk version 20.3 is the latest one i guess the magisk version and just add the google pay in the magisk hide section and then you can use google pay so there you have your answer I have been enjoying this custom rom since last year because of you i thought my device was already rooted when i installed this rom found out it isn't any tips on how to root again just flash magisk well we used to use the super ecu and stuff well you don't simply need those right now you can just simply flash magisk and have root pretty much so just flash the magisk version 20.3 that should work Hey please help me I can't boot system when I boot system I boot fast boot please help I can boot in TWRP Okay so if you cannot boot into system it's again on the Evolution X Redmi Note 5 Pro's video so I would say if you cannot boot into your system and it is going back to your TWRP or it is boot looping I would simply say that you need to format your storage otherwise you cannot like do anything there is no better option without formatting it or else if you want to go back to miui or something just fast boot flash miui that should fix most of the problems but if you want to like boot in a custom rom i would say if i am showing in a video that it is booting it means it is booting but you have to have a decrypted storage otherwise it may face some problems if you're coming from miui or any like miui eu rom or something if you were using it just format the storage if you are using orange box recovery go to manage partition or if you are using like normal TWRP recovery go to your wipe section you will find the advanced wipe section and stuff there also you will find of the advanced wipe like to the right of the advanced wipe button you will find the format data from their format data and type yes it will format everything so make sure you have the backup of your storage do not blame me if you lose your data so just like format the storage it should work fine does it void warranty what is it let's try to unlock the bootloader okay so in terms of warranty i would say xiaomi actually says that they provide warranty even on routing so like on paper you are not voiding your warranty but the thing is if you break your phone you do void your warranty that's how it is but i would say whenever you're going to a service center or something to claim warranty i would say then make sure you have like fast boot flashed miui or something even like i would say i have went to the service center with like the redmi note 5 pro i guess with a custom rom installed on it and they flashed like they clean flashed the miui of course the fast boot rom they did 
so yes they clean flashed for like MIUI but I would say if you want to get warranty just make sure you have like whenever you are going to like service center just fast boot flash MIUI then go to the service center that way you can claim your warranty even if you have a unlocked bootloader okay so which is your favorite among these ROMs for Note 7 Pro Evolution X, Dirt Faced, Ion OS well I would say from these ones I would definitely go with Evolution X and Dirt Faced but I don't have any hate for Ion OS, do not get me wrong. But I like the Dirt Faced and Evolution X both. But with the recent updates and the features I get, I would definitely choose the Evolution X on top of anything. Pretty sure because I'm like running the Evolution X ROM on my Redmi K20 Pro and it is working great. I would say the Evolution X currently is one of the best ROMs out there. So I like Evolution X because it has a lot of features including that always unlock with the filmmade scanner and stuff so i would definitely go with the evolution x personally are you facing any bug on youtube while watching videos i don't actually know let me test so that comment is on the how to flash evolution x rom well i am currently on the evolution x rom let's go to any of my videos So this is the Redmi Note 5 Pro and I have the Evolution X ROM on this and I would say I'm not facing any bugs with YouTube right now as you can see it is playing the videos like pretty fine I would say. So right now what they have done is if it is working fine. Hello bro please tell me which custom ROM are the best on Redmi Note 7. Well I don't actually have a Redmi Note 7 to test so that I cannot simply tell you that which custom ROM will be best for Redmi Note 7 but if you ask me just try to find like popular ROMs like Dirt Faced or Evolution X or ROMs like that like Pixel Experience and stuff they are like mostly pretty stable to daily drive with so if they are available just flash it it will be good to go I think higher refresh rate mods are working fine with this ROM this is on a Evolution X ROM on the Redmi K20 Pro I guess yes i would say i have tried the like mods of the screen refresh rate for the redmi k20 pro and from that what i would say is like it is better not to flash those because what i have seen like on the android like q you cannot flash the higher mods with the 81 hertz and stuff which was available for android pi well you cannot simply use those i think the highest one is 75 hertz or something for the android q but even that is not working whenever I, I flashed it it was giving me about 30 to 30 fps it was really lagging the screens and stuff in this evolution x rom i remember and whenever i flashed the 69 hertz mod for the 5 to 10 minutes i would say the experience was fine for the 5 to 10 minutes but then it the fps was simply dropping again to 40 or 45 I don't know but in like IDA64 it was still showing that I have the 16 hertz like refresh rate for the display but in actual like the display was like refreshing really slowly I have tested it with the test UFO website from like Chrome but it wasn't giving me anywhere close to a stable experience of a 69 hertz or something so it is better to stick with the 60 hertz normal like stock it is asking for password after flashing the ROM please help well I would say it is the same problem like that like if your device doesn't boot after flashing a ROM or like just boot looping or booting back to your recovery I would say just like format data that will mostly fix your problem in like most cases it happens because your storage got encrypted or the ROM simply cannot read your storage to boot into the like system so that's when you need to go to format data and type yes then that will like wipe everything but it will keep the ROM so don't worry just like format the data and reboot to system you don't need to flash the rom again after you have formatted the data you just like format the data and reboot if you have flashed the rom earlier does this rom support fast charging evolution x i think this is on the redmi k20 pro yes and yeah the 18 watt fast charging is working fine on the like roms even on the redmi note 7 pro it works and on the redmi k20 pro 2 the 18 watt fast charging is working but i have not simply tested it with the 27 watt charger because i have seen the reviews i feel it's not worth it is overclocking display damage the display well this is a really controversial thing it is safe not to overclock but who cares i mean for the better experience definitely you can overclock and i think like in 
one case out of one lakh you we will find a display got fully damaged or something i i think it's not even one lakh it's gonna be one in one million maybe that a display got like really damaged after overclocking well have you gone to a service center and seen someone complaining that i overclocked my display well it has broken what should i do i don't know i have never known a guy or i have never heard something like that so overclocking is pretty much fine but only if it works but overclocking may always change the colors or like shift the colors and stuff you won't get the true colors of a display even i have noticed it on my benq monitor and even on the redmi k20 pro with the overclocking that the colors shifts a little bit like the yellows and the, like the dark blacks and stuff a little bit gray they just change a little bit in my opinion does support hdr extreme pubg graphics in this rom yes the evolution extreme does support the hdr and extreme settings in k20 pro sir do you experience very noticeable black smearing and blue effect in dark mode my display seems to suffer from a lot of smearing well i would say yes this i have noticed but this only happens if you are using a amoled display in like very low brightness because of the like shifting or something i don't know actually i don't know a lot about displays of course but i would say this happens in most amoled displays like you can find in any amoled display this will be present even a little bit like it may be too much or it may be just a little but it will still stay on a amoled display if you are using it on a very low brightness and you are moving the dark parts to a colorful part very quickly you may notice the smearing so should i install this rom for my same pearl white k20 edition well definitely you can i am using it on the k20 pro and it is working great the evolution x again is working great on my device so i'll definitely recommend you flashing this rom my all sensors is not working this is on a redmi note 7 pro external device android 10 rom video well i would say this is a really great opportunity for me to talk about it in this video and so that i can share it with you guys well this happens when you move from a android 10 based rom to any android 9 based rom i mean this is not for a particular device but this happens actually on all the devices well i have seen it happen on the redmi note 5 pro note 7 pro and even on the k20 pro that if you go back like i would say just do not try to go back to a android 9 rom let's guess that you want to flash a android 10 rom whenever you are on a android 9 based like me why so if you flash a android 10 custom rom then you go back to a android 9 like stock rom that is to going from a android 10 to android 9 rom don't do that because it will break all your sensors it has to do something with persist or something or if you're really desperate about going from a android 10 to android 9 rom just have two backups of your persist image when you are on a android 9 rom like by default when you are on android 9 rom back up your persist image and keep it somewhere named like persist android 9 or something then like whenever you move to android 10 rom back up your persist image and name it like persist image 10 or android 10 so whenever you are flashing a android 9 rom from android 10 after flashing the android 9 rom just restore the backup of your android 9's persist image that's how you can like have all the sensors working and after that if you go like to uh, android 10 rom maybe it will work maybe it won't like the sensors and stuff maybe it won't work after going like that so that's when you need to flash the android 10 based persist image after you flash the android 10 rom i hope i could explain it but it is really confusing even i am getting confused so i hope like if you do not understand that just watch it again i am getting error 7 while installing from android 9 in orange box what can i do please well whenever you are getting error 7 this is like supposedly a firmware issue so make sure you are on the latest firmware and like mostly you are you need to be on the latest firmware for flashing the latest custom roms but make sure you don't like f up your storage so for that just like check xda for your device or like join a telegram group maybe for your device so just make sure which rom needs which firmware like some roms specifically need a version of firmware to work with so yeah just make sure you have the latest firmware otherwise you will get error 7 Oxygen OS or Evolution X what would you prefer for gaming like PUBG well Oxygen OS whenever i have tried i would say only once i have 
got a really good experience in oxygen West, but even then the camera was buggy i am talking about the redmi note 5 pro here and like i would say in every oxygen West build that i have tried after that had a lot of bugs most of them were not even booting up so i would say if you want to flash between custom roms and oxygen OS, i would personally definitely go with a custom rom on top of oxygen OS because it needs a lot of patches it has a lot of bugs and a lot of things do not work most has that volume kind of thing like when you cannot even put the phone into vibrate and stuff because oneplus has a slider for the modes and stuff for like putting the phone into vibrate so yeah i have got a really weird experience is in oxygen os maybe i could not flash it in a proper way you can call it that way but i would say i would definitely personally choose evolution x on top of oxygen os I don't have L1 on it, do you know why? And I have the Chinese variant of K20 Pro. Well, the Chinese variant needs to be certified with the like DRM certification, I think. So I cannot really help with that because the Xiaomi China needs to decide if they want to provide L1 or something. The Chinese devices do not even need L1. They have their separate apps. They don't run Netflix or Amazon Prime. They don't even need a Chinese variant to have the l1 certificate on the like drm kind of certification i would say if you want to have drm info as like level one just try to get the indian unit because it has the like l1 certification on the k20 pro i have just tried to install red wolf recovery on another note 5 pro at first boot it works fine but when i try to reboot recovery it just switches back to stock recovery please help like regarding this on the redmi note 5 pro the procedure has been changed a bit later on with MIUI updates and as they do with MIUI right now the procedure is a little bit different from the other devices. Well I will recommend you guys using Orange Fox Recovery the latest one 10.1 underscore 2 I guess for the Redmi Note 5 Pro the Orange Fox Recovery version I mentioned and the thing I gotta mention is that like if you're still on MIUI you need to flash a dummy image. You can like find that in a thread like linked in the description. You gotta flash that dummy image from that XDA thread. You can just follow the description. And with that, you can flash actually any image like any recovery image. Otherwise, it will just block. Even if you have an unlocked bootloader, you cannot flash a recovery. So that's how you can flash the recovery. And flashing Orange Fox is a little bit different too. You gotta extract the Orange Fox recovery zip file. It is a zip file normally whenever you are downloading an orange box recovery you can find the recovery image inside that so after you have flashed the dummy image just like flash the orange box recovery image file then boot into it and then flash the orange box zip file with that recovery when like you are booted into that recovery with that just flash that zip and it will flash your custom recovery permanently otherwise it may like replace the recovery with the MIUI recovery. So you gotta flash that zip file to like make sure that you are doing everything all right. Awesome bro, so happy I found your channel. My K20 Pro is exactly how I want it to be and more because of you. Thank you. You are welcome. This ROM testing and stuff, I will be frank with you guys. I really like flashing ROMs and stuff. I really want to test like each ROM thoroughly so that I can give you my perspective of the review that how I am like enjoying the ROM or there if there are some bugs and stuff but I would say this takes a lot of time so that's why like whenever a new build comes I have to test it for a day to give you guys a review because it's really hard to switch your device every day it's like getting a new phone almost every day all the data and stuff needs to be moved to a new ROM like freshly I do use the Google app data backup to like restore and stuff i don't use any apps or something which needs root to backup and restore i use the google app data backup so everything i need to be fresh and like i have to use it for the time being and then like after one or two days i can only tell you guys how is the rom and stuff so thank you so much for watching to all of you who have been a part of carry and tech like me and you guys are the reason that i am here today and big thanks to like everyone because of you guys we have hit about 20,200 subscribers now and i wish that like in future i can do more and more for you guys so thank you so much for watching please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tito from carry and take signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now